Star of 90 Day Fiance Jasmine Panetta talks about her alopecia journey and her potential future with Gino. Welcome to Dream USA 24, my channel. Before the 90 Days stars Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo have had disagreements over hair extensions because Jasmine's extensions aren't exactly cheap. This hair costs me $3,500, Jasmine remarked on before the 90 Days in response to inferior extensions. Gino, her fiancé, was taken aback by how much his future bride-to-be was expecting him to spend on hair at the time. Jasmine has now entered the United States for the first time following a protracted battle to obtain the K-1 visa. We were intrigued by the transformation when she showed out on the red carpet for the 90-day fiancé 10th anniversary wearing a glittering gown and supposedly low-maintenance hair without extensions. It is part of the new USA Jasmine and well, you're going to see part of my journey with alopecia and I'm going to be more open about myself, about this issue that is very sensitive and which I'm very self-conscious about, the reality star from Panama told Parade. I will do it in the hopes that a large number of people will be able to relate. Nothing is wrong and our hair does not define who we are. The passionate couple will appear in season 10 of the main 90 Day Fiance series, which will premiere on TLC on Sunday, October 8 at 8 p.m. ET, now that they are both in the United States. The fact that Jasmine is finally here is just great, Gina remarked. This is great because I always had to say goodbye when I was leaving for Panama, and that proved to be quite challenging. For both of us, the long-distance relationship is really challenging. Therefore, it was quite amazing that she could visit the United States. The show's title suggests that the pair has 90 days to legally consummate their union in order for Jasmine to remain in the nation, but they don't appear to be certain that their tale will conclude with a marriage. I can't really say what's going to happen in the future or if she's going to stay, but I can say that it's amazing that she came here," the prospective groom said. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. In their previous TV appearances, the couple talked a lot about babies. Gino, 53, is not a parent yet, but Jasmine, 37, is a mother of two. We're not certain that this union will succeed, Gino told Parade, so we really can't talk about babies too much because we have to get married first. We were together when we had our previous conversation about it, Jasmine said, and that hasn't really altered at all. It's still clear that Gino lacks the experience necessary to become a parent. I do, in fact, have two kids. To be honest, I don't think it's important, but he does. Therefore, that would still be up to us to determine if we wanted to get married. Gino acknowledged that he finds being a parent important. I really would like to have one child of my own, he stated, and it seems to connect to the discussion of marriage in general. However, I'm sure you'll see what transpires right. Jasmine is happy with her experience in America so far, whether she decides to stay in Michigan or not. The people of the United States are what make it one of the best places I've ever been. It's not just a beautiful country, the United States is such a terrific nation. I never imagined that I would feel so accepted. I am grateful to have made wonderful friends with Americans who are the sweetest, most lovely people I have ever had the pleasure of meeting in my life. I'm winning even if I lose, she remarked. Gino wonders if his future bride would be able to withstand the harsh Michigan winters. She is used to the tropical heat of Panama after all. Always he is, ing about the cold. So imagine me that I'm not used to it, Panetta said. I don't know if I'm going to survive. 